What is uh, open versus closed rhinoplasty? This confuses a lot of patients. It's not that difficult. Rhinoplasty involves scissions, both open and closed. The incisions are a little bit different. The exposure, what the surgeon can see and what the surgeon can do is different. It's uh, more visible and more controllable when it's open. The incisions involve these tip cartilages. The tip, there's a pair of tip cartilages, these wing-shaped structures with a little valley in between them. Both open and closed rhinoplasty involve an incision on the inside here, on both sides, along the bottom of that. That's common to both. When you do a closed rhinoplasty, you have to make an extra incision all the way along the top. So you've got this bottom incision and this top incision parallel. And then what that allows you to do is to pull the tip cartilage out and make it smaller, sew it, etc. The problem with that is that when you pull that tip cartilage out, it's very much contorted and uh, distorted. And so you can get a firm impression of what it's going to look like when you put the cartilage back into the nose, but you can't really see it. An open rhinoplasty involves that same bottom incision. You don't do the top incision, but there's a little connecting incision which we make in a zigzag right here on the columella. It scares a lot of people because they're going to have an external scar, because all incisions leave a scar. But the thing is, is within a couple of weeks, that heals remarkably. One time in 20 years, I had to do a little minor revision. I've seen that incision conducted poorly in the past, but if it's done with utter precision, it heals reliably. And then once you get the nose open, you can see everything. You can see all the way up to the tip. You can see the dorsum. You can see uh, the root of the nose. All of that is exposed and it allows you to have so much more precision and accuracy in terms of suturing little asymmetries, identifying any little splinter of bone that might be sticking up that might cause a bump later on. So 99% of the noses that we do are, are uh, open rhinoplasty. About the only time I do closed rhinoplasty is if a patient is say a year out and they have a, a little bump that's formed, a little bone spicule or something that's creating a little barely visible bump. In, in that situation, we can do a tiny little incision and just sand down the bone a little bit.